just imagine. When I established a high school in South Sudan nearly seven years ago, it was the first secondary school hundred of miles around. And I did that because of my experience and my knowledge in the issues that our student faces and the struggle I had to go through myself before I went to America. Today, that school is a home to 420 students and 25 staff and teachers. Here today, the bad story make us stronger. You have to, you have to, you, you have rebound out of whatever you are in, and and know uh, that uh, there are other people out there that I might have gone through difficult time than what you are going through. Without uh, somebody standing up for other people, then somebody like me would not have a chance. I know all of us here are, have a courage to stand up to defend our country. You know, I have to stay strong, and you have to stay strong. Kind of proud to be a lost girl, to have an opportunity to come back, to come here to, an Amer to America and have that education. I'm the first girl in my family to be able to graduate from high school, go to college, so that's a huge um, success. In the continent, the Africa, and coming here and have the opportunity to go to school, be able to join the army and live in this great nation, it's one of the great things I think he ever achieved. When I went back to U.S., I said I should do something to help my dad and other people who are in the same situation as well. And that's where I formed a non-profit organization called Water for Sudan. That's why I'm here today. So if I know what happened to me and can happen to any child, why am I not being the example to do it? So that's why I decided to take up education as the best tool to fight the evil that human bring to us. And, and, and the anger, the homelessness, and what destroyed the family. So education was the tool that I have to stick with because I will be able to take ownership of my own life. I will be able to question anything anybody bring to me and, and look at the cause and benefit of anything I do because education gives you that opportunity to reflect uh, the past, the present, and the future. For the last 10 years, we tried to explain our history to the people who don't know what it was. And sometimes people will question, really? Did this happen? But when you have this document in hand, it, it kind, of, kind of put the closing on that, saying that, you know, this is the history of what I went through. My name is Reverend Tom Moses, and I'm one of the lost boys. I'm based here in the DMV area. I'm very grateful that uh, Warner Brothers we're able to take our story to the wider audience. Today is not about the lost boy, but it's about uh, the, the, the globe. Uh, most of the kids that are, up, uh, that are suffering, facing the same scenario that many of us went through 20 years ago. <laughs> but I am saying take universal values that can work everywhere. No better ambassadors than you all at some point in time. I'm not suggesting